Are students and staff in Ansonia getting punished for improving their school performance? Well, many school sports gone, a number of teaching positions gone. That's the price city schools will have to pay in response to states funding in those cuts to the school. And get this, part of the reason the schools are losing money is because test scores have improved. News 8's Kent Pierce took a closer look and found some interesting facts. Students in Ansonia are about to learn a harsh lesson. Sometimes when you do well, you get punished for it. Ansonia was on a list of underperforming school districts. They got state money to help boost test scores. It worked. Students scored better in the past few years. And uh, therefore, we have been re removed from what's called the priority school district list, thereby losing $1.3 million in, in grant money. So basically, Ansonia schools are victims of their own success. They got that $1.3 million from the state to help boost test scores. Now that the test scores have been boosted, that money goes away, even though those are the programs that are keeping those test scores up. We'll be losing tutors and interventionists that provide um, reading help to kids that need extra, extra support in reading. So it sounds like the kind of people who boost test scores. Exactly. So the school board asked the city to make up the difference, but the mayor says the city could only afford an extra $630,000. What are they going to do? I mean, they're going to, you know, raise their taxes, or are they going to cut positions? I mean, either way, nobody really wins, but it's tough. Those tough cuts mean 10 fewer teachers and less arts education. Also, no more middle school or freshman sports. My, my son has autism, and, you know, he, that's what he wants to do. He wants to play sports, and he can't. So, you know, for those kids that have disabilities, you should think about it. And it seems like it's always the, the arts and the sports seem to be uh, the ones that go the most, which hits a little bit of a nerve with me because I'm an artist. And we found one more fact from the State Department of Education. Under the new education reform law that just passed in Hartford, Ansonia will be one of 30 so-called alliance districts. It might not replace all the money, but it will make Ansonia eligible for cost-sharing money from the state. In Ansonia, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.